The reason Tesla has chosen to go with pure electric is that when we look closely at doing a range extended electric vehicle, um, so essentially a plug-in hybrid of some kind, we found we couldn't make a great car. Well, at least we couldn't figure out how to make a great car. Maybe somebody else can. A Prius and a Volt, those are hybrids. They have their own issues and their own problems. We're standing out on our own, and I think our design really elicits the fact that, that this is a completely unique vehicle, and it, and it is. It's all electric. If you've got a weight maximum and a cost maximum, and you say, design the best electric car or design the best gasoline car with that amount of money and mass, you're going to make a better gasoline car if you can use all that mass for gasoline or a better electric car if you can use all that mass for electric. So, you know, we decided to, to sort of stay pure. We're making sure that we're unique and we're setting the tone for where electric cars will be going in the future. And this is the first all-electric sedan. I mean, this is really a paradigm-shifting vehicle. In order to get to lower-cost vehicles, we had to get to successive generations of technology, and we also had to earn the capital necessary for mass production. That meant we, our initial car would, would be expensive, so we had to do either a high-end sedan or a sports car, and uh, we thought it would be easier to do the sports car, so we, we went in that direction. The Roadster is this iconic sports car that really showcases the, the best attributes of the electric technology. It's got unbelievable on-demand torque and power, uh, instantaneous acceleration. You know, 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds is awesome. In its uh, arena of sports cars, it's actually a pretty affordable uh, performance piece. And so from that iconic element, we go to a little bit more mainstream Model S, which takes all those positive attributes and we add functionality. So we take this idea of being uncompromised and we really bake into it all these extra pieces while never losing sight of the awesomeness of what electric power can deliver. There's obviously the question, of, will there be funding for the Model S? Very optimistic and a high confidence that we will receive a DOE funding for our car because our, the Model S is almost perfectly suited for the ATVM program. But although the car is a base price of, of roughly $50,000, the cost of electricity is so much less than the cost of gasoline that that's equivalent to getting about a $35,000 gasoline car if you assume uh, gasoline prices are around $4. Over time, about the same cost as a Ford Taurus. When you go apples to apples or head to head with a BMW or an Audi, it's really an affordable car. You know, there's a, uh, a famous saying by, by Wayne Gretzky, skate to where the puck's going to be, and the puck's going to be electric. So we're thinking about how do we improve the infrastructure for electric vehicles, particularly for intercity travel. So if you're going from one city to the next, that's really where you need uh, an ability to recharge very quickly or potentially to swap out the battery pack. And we do uh, expect to play a role there. Um, in fact, we have a charging system that is capable of charging the car in 45 minutes that we're going to start deploying in trials maybe as soon as end of this year or, or sometime next year. But I think it will be looked at as you know one of the most influential, probably one of the most important new types of transportation uh, for years to come. I think this is at least part of the future of automotive and, and, uh, hopefully, and hopefully the vanguard of, of that future.